Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Lodi here, back with another Persona 5X video. And y'all already know what's popping. You see it on the screen. Chat, we are currently 23 hours away from when I'm recording this video. 23 hours away from Persona 5X China launch. I am extremely excited. For you guys that want to come and watch someone play the game, you already know, your boy is streaming over here on YouTube. Go to my channel, click the live page. But if you want to see it on another platform, go support your boy on twitch.tv4 slash xiloda, where I'll be dual streaming it on Twitch and on YouTube for everyone to see. Now, that being said, we all know why you're here. You see the title of the video. The entirety of week one and week two events and banners have been happening they have been leaked so let's go ahead and talk about them now in the other video that i uploaded with my boy blade we talked about the persona 5 collab now while this hasn't been confirmed for a date yet i do want to add on a little bit extra they have confirmed that outside of persona titles like persona 5 they do want to collab with the other persona titles we don't know what that necessarily means. We don't know if they're saying that just to keep it really vague, but Persona as a title is pretty vague. So we might be getting, you know, one and two class, maybe a three and four collab down the line in the future. So look forward to that. But let's get into the confirmed details. All righty. So from, I'm pretty sure April 12th. Yes, from April 12th to April 25th, which I'm pretty sure is i think two ish weeks a little less than two weeks i think like 13 days on the mark we will be getting our first limited rate up banner and that is going to be my boy joker now i've talked about joker before but to do a quick rundown of his kit joker is a five star curse damage dps and his main draw points are doing a lot of damage basically like loki as vague as that sound I'm pretty sure Joker is busted. He might be top top one from what I've seen. So he's good at doing a lot of front load damage. And he also excels very well in single target or AOE content. And being very quick about it thanks to the extra turn he can grant. Now, I don't know if they took away his extra turn. I don't know if they nerfed. I saw some things going around that they nerfed him so he doesn't get that extra turn anymore. But regardless, some pros about him. He's going to be good in single and AoE content, just like I stated. He's able to do a shit ton of damage up front. Now, the only con that I can really state is that he enemies can only give him one stack of evil key per battle. And evil key is basically one of his passives that give him more damage per key that he has. So, yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. But like all banners, the rated up four stars are going to be Rufuru which I'm pretty sure is um, Cattle, I think his name is. So we'll be having Cattle. We'll be having a Tomoko rate up, which is that four-star girl, uh, psychic girl. I'll put her on screen here. And then we'll be having Seiji, which is that one win character. So I will also put him up on screen here for you guys to see. I haven't talked too much about the four stars because I've been saving them for stream content. But if you guys would like to see a video going over four stars themselves, please let me know in the comments below. Now... Limited characters will not be added to normal banners. I'm going to say this right now. Everyone should already know this if you play gotchas. But for people who are new to gotchas and this is the first gotcha they are getting into, limited rate up characters usually never come into the normal character banner. So that means you have your rated up character, which is a 50% chance of getting that character. But then you have a 50% chance of getting a normal banner character, which is like Ryuji, Mona, on you know, Riddle, etc. So please keep that in mind. If you want Joker, you are required to pull. He will not be a normal banner after this event. Now, this is a new account limited event. So as soon as we make a new account available for the first 30 days on a new account, you will unlock a quest after finishing the side quest named We Meet Again, which is requiring you to revisit Shibuya. Due to the influence of the Navi Guide app, the coffee shop at Yongin has changed. Players can talk with other Persona users in another world during interaction play. People 
can obtain gems and thief tokens to exchange mats at thief exchange shop. Please note, event will be automatically closed after 30 days of your account being around, but players will still be able to interact with the NPC. So, as soon as this comes out, make sure you guys get on it immediately. You do not want to miss out getting the mats that this event will give you. And like I said, it's not time gated. As soon as you make a new account, you hop up to a month to complete it. Now, that as well. We have the Thief Exchange Shop, which is available for the first 30 days, like we just stated, on a new account. And you will unlock the Thief Exchange Shop after finishing a side quest called Castle Between Timeline. Now, Thief tokens can be exchanged for mats and gotcha tickets, so be very careful about how you use your Thief tokens. I'll probably make a video talking about what you should and shouldn't get, but to put it out there, be cautious because... There are some games where they give you things like this and everyone's first idea is to go and get the gotcha tickets when it's low-key not smart. But just be cautious about what you're buying. Make sure you weigh the pros and cons and buy what you want. And also, this exchange shop will be automatically closed after 30 days and all remaining thief exchange tokens that you already had obtained will be turned into soul gems, which I'm pretty sure are like the currency of this game. Now, another thing, the Trials Challenge. It will unlock after you finish the side quest called Duel Between Two Chosen. Now, you have to unlock the Velvet Room Challenge. After you try out both Velvet Room Challenge and Sea of Souls ranking, it will give a player a free copy of Okayan, which is the four-star navigator right here, and Yuki, plus a weapon for Yuki. I do not know which weapon, but I'll go ahead and put Yuki up on screen as well. Now, we are also going to be getting a limited time weapon banner. This will be running the exact same dates as Joker, so it's going to be running from the 12th to the 25th, and you will be able to obtain the five-star weapon named Phoenix, which is usable on Joker, and players will be able to choose which three five-star weapons in the pool they would like to obtain. Limited weapon will be removed out of the banner once it is over. So just like Joker, his weapon will not be added to the normal weapon pool after the banner is over. Please keep that in mind. Now, we are also, for just playing the game, we are going to be getting free item packs at level 15, 25, 35, and 45. Alongside that, we are going to be getting a 7-day login bonus and a server launching player pack for free after we finish the um, quest, which I'm pretty sure is called the Relate Quest. I could be wrong. Translation might not be correct. Just keep aware. You will also be getting a new IRL outfit for Wonder, Gotcha Currency, and more from that player pack. But guys, that's going to be all the info I have for you right now. All I can say is, we are in for a treat for the first week or two. Now, something I do want to go ahead and point out. There are people asking me, I've seen down below, and in Discord, people have been asking me, is China going to be a week ahead of the other versions? Because China is obviously coming out a week before. And the answer to that is no. I cannot go over it just yet because I do not know the full details, but I will make a video in the future when I do know what is happening. So just for now, if you're starting on Taiwan and Korea, don't feel like you're missing out because as far as I'm aware, there's not going to be that gap in time. But guys, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. As you already know, your boy is live streaming on April 11th at 7 p.m. PST or 10 p.m. Eastern. Go ahead and come up to the stream. We'll be streaming Persona 5X China for all those who couldn't make it in. And let's get some good vibes going. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, everyone.